Yeah, what is the AD carry of choice? Quite a few bands have come in. I like not, Zaya. It's not my favorite. Um, yeah. But Zaya uh, into Kaiser has been, you know, something that dates back a really long way. Jace to consideration. That'll mean that the cork is going into the hands of Teddy. Hovering for now, and there is the lock-in. So, Yahoo going to be playing the Jace. Something that he has played quite a bit in Challenger, and of course, he is the man that has to do the magic damage, so needs to be hitting these spears. Let's do it. Let's jump into the rift for game number one. As Morgan is going to walk out of the brush and find the Cassante. As a bit of a Shurima off there towards the top side. Young Jay clearing out the Raptor camp first, heading over towards Scruggs. Putting rocks down and stuff, having a good time. He's also taken the Dark Harvest as well. Kind of love that. As we can see here, 7 2 is the uh, win record here for Jace. Feels like it goes back to when Showmaker and Chovy were both playing a lot of mid Jace, yeah. kind of catching teams unawares. Maybe, might have a, maybe might have a, a secret one. Might have a Renekton only account. Or yeah. Several. <laughs> he's played like 29 Skana games, 33 Rumble games, 27 Twist of Fate games, but he's played seven Renekton games. As in goes Karas. Does find a nice explosive charge, but there's to the skies from Yahoo. Pretty even trade, I think. Yahoo got a slight edge there. Oh, right, oh. Grubs are starting to go down. We could get some dots under that turret, but it's not quite there yet. And it's been a while. Dread was the last one to play it, actually, on Nongshim. You know, it's typically hard to dive a Cassante, but between the Renekton and the uh, Talia, they do a pretty good job of it, so Rascal could be in real trouble here. Well, he's going to try and catch this wave. There it is. There's the flash forward. He could not react in time, and first blood goes to the Lord. So well played by Morgan. Zero opportunity for Cassante to do Cassante things, try and outplay. The setup was there. The setup was good. And look at the lead in this top lane right now, oh killing the pocket God. of Morgan. I would say so. And Weave as well coming on in as well. As you can see, Young Jay starting this one up. Polo tanking the turret. Flash out from Yahoo though. And now Polo finds himself somewhat isolated. Does have an anchor to get him out of there. But uh, that was a dive that was more optimistic than it could have otherwise been. But we like this. This is Bro making proactive moves. Whether they're successful or not, we do not care. They're just they doing things. Proactive? Oh, yes. Rady proactive. I'm looking for some radio, Rady oh. proactivity. Well, Teddy's going to try and turn this one on to Samba. It was looking okay for the bro AD carry for a little while, but it didn't quite work out. As speaking of not working out, Sponge going to get flashed away from. So therefore, no more Samba's flash as, okay, here we go. Pleta getting closed in on. He survives for so incredibly long. As now Teddy trying to get some work done here. Somehow, the Nautilus makes it out to safety, but uh, that is going to be a Drake secured by DRX. Still killless. So far in this game, but they're doing okay on the objective. Dragons, three minutes on the next one. As Hook, max range here from Polo finds the combo. And Killer Instinct is exactly that. That is such a dead Nidalee. Well, we got a teleport coming in towards this bottom side of the map. And everyone is closing it. DRX, they want to get a kill. And they want to get a kill now. But bro, uh, Morgan is just dodging everything. Cleans up the minion wave. They cannot oh. do anything right here. You say do I don't think he dodged that shock blast. A while to get to, and Bro are in a really good spot right now. Yeah, and the problem is they, they really need to set up for these objectives. Like, they're not just a team who are like, oh, enemies doing dragon, let's just run in and engage. They need to lay down the poke. They need to set up. Ooh, Spear. Going to miss here as Weaver's Wall. Does get Young Jay out of there. Pleta diving forward. Sidestep from Polo is quite nice. DRX. Not going to be over committing or anything like that. Yeah, I think Bro not ready to go for this or respond. Is now making his way over. Dominus at the ready has been popped. There's the combo. Thrown into the blender is Rascal. It is going to be Soul Point. But can DRX make it out? The answer is yes, because they've already managed to kill Karis. And Morgan is just lumbering towards them. Sponge trying to make his way out. He's not going to be able to do so, but the rest of DRX pounce on the stragglers and take down Polo and even trade. And they get the Drake. And they're this far behind. Absolute win. Kind of the right idea, especially against Karis and Samba. Although Samba, a little bit of magic damage in the build. Now Polo just getting some vision down. Crash down is going to be what he receives, though. A seismic shove doesn't quite do too much as both of the supports will be taken out. Karis trying to land some shots. Vision being cleared left, right, and center. Yeah. Even if DRX lose this fight, if they get the dragon, it's still massive. Oh, That's absolutely. That's the focus right now. So, bro, you need to start the fight before the dragon gets low. Well, there's the hook from Polo, but they don't commit onto it. And now Morgan off to the side. Weaver's Wall comes in. Polo going to be moved so far. 
It's actually a very weird series of events there as the spear is not going to connect. And DRX, they don't need to hyper commit towards this one. As Teddy taking a little bit of damage from the poke. There's the hook, the seismic shove, and the tank is just eliminated. Polu taken down in an instant as well. Don't know about that one, as they do have at least a 4v4 on their hands. But I think the Cassante was a little bit more value. And now Morgan, no Dominus this time. Sponge looking for hooks, looking for a steal. Remember, this is still huge. If they're able to get in there, there is the engage from Pledovitz to dive forward from Morgan. He gets it! He steals it! Oh, it looks so close to perfectly played from Pro, but it doesn't work out. Zemba's still going to be able to execute the Corky. And slow. Yahoo trying to run away a double kill now. All right, Rascal going to face check. There's the hook once again. It's the seismic shove, but this time only down to 50%. Karis also suffering a very similar fate as Polu. Down very low also. Some heals starting to come in now as a hook once again. Polu doesn't exactly have the friends that are quite there, but still it's a beautiful use of the seismic shove from Youngjae. Polu ready once again with another hook. All right, Rascal dashing towards the Merc Wolves. I, I feel like DRX have the edge here. They're 9,000 gold down, and I feel like they have the edge here. Yeah, and they just, it's the poke. It's the fact that they cannot get in there, and you know Renekton's so incredibly kiteable just in general. Just Morgan just can't seem to really find an angle. Oh, there he's and now coming. Polo, he's in once again. Morgan once again slowed down. He flashes, though. That's going to get him on top. But they deny the kill. He's down to his GA. Rascal finally is dead. Pleta taken out as well. And Yahoo thrown into the blender. That is going to be it as Bro find the team fight. And Karras with the buster shot will secure the ace. They managed to come through. The gold lead was too much to overcome. They get a Four, solid zero, 11, 100%. Kill contribution from Young Jay. Yeah. The best loan I have ever seen. The interest rate, absolutely absurd. Like, this is the best loan we've ever seen in the LCK. That is a savings bank right there. Thank you so much, OK Bro, for showing us how a loan is supposed to work. It makes so much sense. They're going to take down the Nexus turrets, and despite there being a Hextech soul on the enemy team, that does not stop your Nexus from giving 50 gold to Bro. Well, thankfully, we've got the guys over at the space. They will tell us exactly how it happened. As, yeah, Teddy doing a lot of damage, uh, but none of it was really effective damage, right? 